Welcome to <laughs> Barnes Basement Treasures. It's halfway death pile. <laughs> it, it, it's it's stuff we have on sale in boxes that we some of the things we don't remember. Listed in the door. and uh, now that we're in our house, we're trying to use shelving that we have also besides just bins. So we're going through our bins. <clears throat> of list of inventory. Yeah, inventory. Mm -hmm. It's not moving, it's not grooving. I'll tell you that right now. So let's get it moving so it'll be grooving. Okay, it's first. Um, we have, it's called Dark Millennium. Oh, it's from the Warhammer games. Um, it is. When Peel's Midnight. It looks more of like it's just a storybook. Okay. Or it's telling about different parts. I, I don't, I'm not really, I don't really know a lot about Warhammer. Um, I know it has, I believe it's something to do along the lines of Dungeons and Dragons, but a newer version of stuff. <clears throat> it's got some neat pictures in it. Um, but it's a, a, a I think it has dice to the game. It's <clears throat> excuse me, I have a th dry throat. Um, yeah, I believe it has dice and all that stuff. So it's something what like Dungeons and Dragons and yeah. other things like that. And that is currently on sale in the store for $16.99 plus shipping. Okay. Here we have a thousand piece puzzle by Golden Guild. It's fully interlocking. It's a, to me, I mean, it could be the back of someone's house, but. I would guess it's more of a uh, country in somewheres in the plots the flower dryer in. This is unopened, it's still fully sealed on the back all the way around. Well it does have a barcode on it so that dates things a little bit with uh, even if you don't see a date on there if it's got a barcode you know it's after like 82 I think 81 even at that it could be a potentially a 40 year old puzzle we don't know I'm not seeing anything on here at the moment that shows a date Um, probably if you brought up the barcode online somehow, it would actually tell you. Okay, and that is on sale for $12.74 plus shipping. Here we have these neat little Christmas time butter knives. Yeah. I think they're like cheese spreaders or, or uh, yeah, probably cheese for spreaders like, and butter. Yeah, jam or yeah, yeah probably probably anything you're doing during a party time maybe where you need a bunch of them at once um there's a boot or a stocking i don't know which it's supposed to be a pine cone a santa claus coming out of a chin chimney I'm not sure what that other one is. Yeah, and I believe the handles are uh, porcelain. A Christmas tree and candy cane of sorts. Oh, did you mention a pine cone? Yes, I did. Yeah. If this is the one I can't. Yeah, they're in there really good. <laughs> oh, that looks like a, a pole with a light on the top. Oh, yeah. That's what the one I can't didn't know. They're made in Japan, and they're stainless, stainless steel. Okay. 
And that is on sale right now for $11.04 plus shipping. She hands me the side that has a different language, so I'm not going to read it. <laughs> I say it's French. Parfait hey. pour la plague. The B tulip cup. Oh, yeah. English. Floating coaster yeah. with matching 20 ounce plastic cooler. Yeah, it's called Splashware, I believe. It's got like a little blow up floaty that go yep. it goes into so you can have it like if you're the little bee. lounging in the pool or something and you can put it on the water and it'll just float there with your drink. Yep. Here's a little bee that you fill up and it'll be a floater. <laughs> Watch where you put it if it's a floater. Oh my god. <laughs> oh <boy. clears throat> Great for pools, beach, hot tubs boats so in some cases <laughs> some cases you don't really have it in the water with you you just yeah set it as a, it does say coaster yeah. oh the little kitty's trying to join in the box so. <laughs> <coughs> I, he got there first uh, we got a couple plates here these are the neat ones uh, the gary patterson sports collection Exclusively distributed by Royal Orel, oh, sorry, Royal Orleans, 1982. For decorative purposes only, not for serving of food. This one here is called the Weekend Warrior. And it's got this guy running with his cleats on, a little mouse running next to him for some reason. He's got a tennis racket coming off of him, a little radio, a racket, ball racket, golf bag with a bunch of different clubs, or a bunch of different items coming out of it, not even got one golf club. And all around there's a bunch of writing talking about the guy. So there's grand illusions of being a superstar. The other one is called Racquetball Player. And again, it's got a bunch of different things about the person. Uh, the artist must have something to do with mice because he's got a mice in this one too. Yeah, I forgot who Gary Patterson, he draws a cartoon I believe. I don't know if it's Garfield, it might be Garfield. Uh, Hmm. I'll have to look that up. So, we have a couple of plates here. I think they're listed together. They are. Yeah. Um, they are actually on sale right now for $12.74. Plus shipping. Okay. I'm trying to go in rotation. Here we have, and this one is open. Um, oh, it seems like it's open. Oh. I'm not sure. No, it wasn't. Yeah, the seals are letting go, but um, it is not. Okay. Um, I may have to adjust that listing then. Yeah, it looks like we may have to. Yeah. The seals have let go. Yeah. It's, I just wanted to see how it is on the inside. Yeah, the okay, bag so it, the box, the seals have let go, but technically it, it's, it's still, still new. new. It would be new open box. Yeah, new open box. Okay. Um, the, bags have, the bag has not been opened ever, so at least we can say, hey, all the pieces should be there. If not, the fact we didn't send them to you. Mm. Uh, we would still have to fix it, but yeah, I'll, it. <laughs> I'll put that on the side. Um, but this one here, since I didn't show you yet, is Thomas Kincaid, 750 pieces. The puzzle is two feet by one and a half, 
It is a Disney of Beauty and the Beast. And it's on sale for $16.99 plus shipping. And what's next? Final Fantasy. We have a game called the Final Fantasy number 11. Final Fantasy X1 11. It's for the PC. And, um, I don't know. I don't remember if we tested this one. I thought we had. Just to make sure it would come up, we tried to test everything we can. Um, the discs do look very clean. We do have a J Pro um, to the JFJ. side. JFJ Easy Pro to the side of me that we do cleanings on. Um, the booklets in here. Um, I'm going to assume it's probably got some type of map. Yes. Get the big map. I'm sure, that's something everybody's looking for on the game and it explains a lot down the sides all of what the keys on the keyboard represent to play the game download codes other information let's get all the paperwork's in here from the game Which is on sale for fifteen dollars and twenty nine cents plus shipping. This goes with it. Here we have our the Hager Potteries Incorporated. Macomb Ill, what it looks like it says. Hager 3701 is what it looks like it says in the bottom. And that's what it feels like when I rub my fingers across it. Uh, 370 I can easily read. In the last one I only feel a line so I would say it's a one and it's not something that's worn down. Looks like it's just a little planter, honey planter, and <laughs> I said potting, not potty. I know what <laughs> my voice keeps going up and down, yeah. and it even sounded that way to me. Yeah. My little wife's laughing over here. <laughs> just trying to, just a little bit watching you struggle through that one. <laughs> Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Jeez. Jeez. Slacking. Yeah. $12.74 on sale. Plus shipping. Oh, God. Right here we have a harmonic balancer puller. Right away, by a little picture on here, shows us for vehicles. I got no clue. <laughs> Okay, the only thing I do somewhat know is that it helps to pull the the wheel things that are on the engine off, and yeah, otherwise no <laughs> clue. Oh, not bad though. She would have the better chance. But the other <laughs> thing is I think you can use it to take uh, in a roundabout way. My brother-in-law probably has used it to take tires off of lawnmowers that get stuck on there because <laughs> it would well you would shove yeah. that on and then you it just applies the pressure in the reverse action am i wrong i don't know about the lawnmower thing honestly but your well, description on the first part and the that was pretty good actually yeah well maybe he has something else that looks like this that's why Probably. Um. <clears throat> oh, that's yours. Yep. And that is. 
$16.99 plus shipping. Here we have the first four complete seasons of The Simpsons. Uh, I do believe they're still making yeah, new so. seasons now. I there. forgot what season they're on. So what's that make it? 20, so 30 20 something. something. They, they got to be almost the 40 years eh. on that because I, I do know they started in the 80s. So they're close to hitting a 40 year anniversary on the primetime TV. Um, I know they had the cartoon characters of them earlier, but they didn't look like this. Whoa. They looked a little goofier. What? It looks like they're in season 34 right now. Okay, so... So, yeah. I, I knew it was in the 80s. Like, late, that's the late 80s then. Um, the original characters, we have a book. I don't know if we have it or we sold it. Uh, they look sort of like uh, bucktooth rabbits standing on their hind legs. <clears throat> um, season four does have, <clears throat> excuse me, season four does have an issue with the case here. It looks like it got sliced at one time. Um, just if you're interested and you're looking at our website or our eBay site, do make sure you. Take a look at the pictures so you know the condition. what the condition is. Otherwise, the rest of them look to be in good condition. Just number four seems like it got a little bit roughed up. And those are $19.99 plus shipping. Here we have... <clears throat> a puzzle called Will Moses, or Will Moses, probably the one that did the puzzle. Spirit of 76. Now, the, the thing about this one is, it's taped, and we did not open it, but it was an older gentleman that did these puzzles, and we were assured that they were complete when we got them. And yeah, uh, they taped them up. That's the one down in Bergie. We okay. got a few of them. Um, it's just a <clears throat> a painted picture picture scenery of an old town from back way back, and uh, you know it's got the covered bridge and waterfall, water mill. Graveyard in the center of town, right next to the church. Uh, so, if anybody's interested in that one? Yeah, that we, one is listed at nineteen ninety nine plus shipping. You don't approve of that, George? That's why you <laughs> yawn? Okay. One of our cats was yawning about yeah, it. You can do these, but they're not showing up in the listings. So I may have to uh, relist those. We have more puzzles to get listed. Um, if we can find the box, we have some older style puzzles. A couple of them from the TV show Bonanza and one from another show. It had to do something with a hospital, I think. Not General Hospital. <laughs> um, Originally, that one came with a poster in it, but it is not in there anymore. We did have one from the State Fair. Not the State Fair, sorry. The World Fair. <clears throat> and my son and I did that puzzle. Uh, it was reversed. The picture on the puzzle was reversed to the, picture, the puzzle that we were making. Which was uh, one weird thing about it. But it still had the fact book that came with those puzzles back when they were selling them at the World Fair in the 60s. Here we have a PC game called Fable, The Lost Treasures. Sorry, The Lost Chapters, not Treasures. 
I'm getting treasures on my mind. <laughs> we get treasures. So, um, imagine a world where every choice and action determines what you become. It's got no booklets to it. It does have, I can get them out. Four discs that go with this. Four discs. <clears throat> As I put them back in. Uh, does not say anything special on any of them, like they do sometimes. Sometimes one might say bonus material only. The product key is inside, so you'd be able to start the game. Then we have a walkthrough guide by Brady Games for Soul Caliber 2 Official Fighter's Guide. Looks like it's not necessarily hand-to-hand -hand combat, but it use weapons so, like swords and uh, let's see. Yes, they're just uh, using swords and that. First glance going through it, if anybody knows about Street Fighter or Mortal Kombat, it sort of looks like that. Looking through it at first, but here it helps you understand how to do each move of the characters in their special moves, which is always hard to figure out when you're trying to play in the arcade. Oh, an arcade, what is that? <laughs> Back where they used to have big machines. Spend lots of money trying to win one game. And that's all we have for today on this. Yeah. So, if you want to see more videos and help us keep going, make sure you subscribe to our channel. If you like the videos, hit the like button down below. Unfortunately, George didn't make an appearance today. He he is on his <laughs> hassock and he's keeping guard there so that the other cat, Tigger, doesn't come get it. That's her spot normally. Yeah, normally that's her spot and she'll be there and he'll jump up on the table and pull a cameo. <laughs> so if you continue to watch us, you will get to see him. Oh, yeah. Okay, so see, see you on the next one. Goodbye.